Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. It's time to have a look at an event which is going to be going on over the next few days. This goes from the 28th of March to the 31st, and it's basically the anniversary of the Italian Air Force. This is not uh, the April Fool's event, <laughs> this is just an additional one to get a decal, and also, at the same time, uh, just kind of play a bit of Italy. In order to get the decal, which is the Italian Air Force badge, all you got to do is play three battles using Italian aircraft at rank three or higher. And also remember, you can just spawn or end the battle, I should say, in an aircraft in ground forces or in naval forces, and you will also get the decal itself. So that's uh, kind of nice too. You don't specifically have to do um, the air stuff, but it's well worth having a look at. One of the things I would say, though, uh, when it comes to uh, Italy, is they have a fantastic aviation tree at the beginning. Rank 1, 2, 3, and 4 is probably the best in the game, and some of the funnest vehicles. So make sure to give it a go so you can see how they are. Today, I wanted to continue something that we talked about the other day, uh, which is the just massive imbalance when it comes to naval. Also, just to kind of show you, um, if you want to add uh, stuff to your favorited achievements over here, all you have to do is go to your player profile, find the thing that you want to add, such as the Italian Air Forces Day, and then just click it right here. And there you go. It's now here, so you can track it a lot easier. Usually I do this for events and also for battle pass challenges and sometimes other achievements if I'm pretty close to. But anyway, we talked about the 5.7 British stuff where there's a bunch of vehicles here that just have completely different capabilities and should not be at the same BR. Well, um, let's have a chat about Japan uh, because I've been playing Japan recently and also a bit of Italy as well with the Savoia, Monte Cicoli and also the new Bolzano. So uh, Japan has uh, at 5.7 the Furutaka, the Ikoma and also the Ioba. Uh, these vehicles are all worse uh, than all of the 5.7s uh, when it comes to Britain, apart from maybe the Kent. Uh, the Furutaka is basically the same as the Ioba. Uh, the Ioba itself uh, has access to three uh, 203 dual, um, dual 203s. So basically, uh, these have worse uh, explosive mass. They have more penetration, uh, but as we've talked about before, penetration, especially when it's ridiculously high, only takes you so far, and especially if you don't do too much damage afterwards. The only advantage that these things have over their British counterparts is not survivability, not firepower, not mobility, none of that stuff really. Uh, they are slightly more maneuverable, but I mean, it's, it's not really worth it, is these torpedoes. Uh, they have the uh, good old Model 1 Type 93 torpedoes, which go 20 kilometers. The problem with that is they're in really weird areas, so it's kind of hard to uh, end up, you know, destroying stuff with them uh, because of the fact that you have such weak angles of firing the torpedoes. The Fur Attacker is actually better for this, and that's why I actually prefer playing the Fur Attacker over the Aoba, even though um, technically it should be a slightly worse vehicle. So when you compare these 5.7s, the Japanese ones to the British ones, the Japanese ones are awful. Even the Akoma, which is a battle cruiser, has access to the 12-inch uh, dual guns, has access to a bunch of secondaries, which are quite fun to use, by the way. You know, you can click on uh, the this, which should be a toggleable option, by the way, instead of a thing in the controls. This should be a keybind that you can flick. It would make it so much easier. Because, obviously, you run different vehicles and you want to use them in different ways. But yeah, this one is fun, but it's still bad because um, you don't have a lot of mobility and you are hoping, basically, for an RNG one-shot with the big guns while you pepper people with the six-inch guns, which is fine, but it's still less firepower than the uh, Southampton, which is hilarious. So the 5.7 Japanese are terrible. Um, they're, they're really bad, and you could easily make a case for all of these vehicles here uh, being 5.3. Um, and even if you have a look at the uh, good old Akano uh, with its torpedoes too, uh, this one actually has a better torpedo set because you can actually fire both uh, sets of torpedoes the same way, so it's easier to get a reload off and even though they have this superstructure above them, which means that you're super limited on where you can throw them. 
Another thing to also mention with the Aoba, it doesn't get a hydroplane. I don't know why, because one of the reasons why these vehicles were built like this is so they could hold more hydroplanes. That's why they're really long, but it doesn't get one. You just don't get one. The fur attacker gets one. Why? I don't know. Uh, because it, it does, and the Ioba doesn't. So work that one out. Maybe it's just not model yet. Maybe they've kind of forgotten about it. I don't know. But it's just not there, so you just can't use it. Now moving on to Italy. So uh, the other day, what they had for Italy uh, was the uh, Battle of Cape Matapan. You could either use British vehicles or you could use Italian. I decided to use Italian because I had a few things to research. We ended up fully researching and spading yesterday the Eugenio di Savoia. This one has smaller cannons at 5.3, which seems to be the hallmark of 5.3. Basically, you have the 152s or 155s, and then at 5.7 you have the 203s. But for Italy, it's one of the only nations where this isn't the case. Instead, you actually have 203mm at 5.0, <laughs> in the form of the Bolzano and also the Trento. And then at uh, uh, you have the 152s at 5.3, and 152s at 572 in the form of the Duca degli Abruzzi and also the Zara with the 203s. So Italy is actually one of the only nations which kind of makes sense when it comes to its BRs for these types of vehicles. And it's basically because their cruisers are huge and also have no survivability. So they're all about firepower and mobility. The Di Savoia has uh, these, you know, very good guns, and since you face destroyers a lot, you can run HE, and you have a very good fire rate at 8 rounds per minute, and it doesn't have a first stage, so you can just keep going over and over again. The issue with these 203s on stuff like the Bolzano and the Trento is they have a really poor fire rate, so you kind of sat there waiting to do stuff uh, on top of it over and over and over again to see what's going on. They also have terrible torpedoes, all of these vehicles have, um, but overall, you know, the Italian ones are the worst because they only have 4 kilometer range before the torpedo mode, which is just bad. So it's so weird seeing all of these different vehicles and different BRs, especially since, like, when it comes to the uh, good old Japanese ones, I would take none of these over any of even the 5.3s for Italy. I understand the penetration is really nice on the Fur Attacker, but if you're facing stuff like battleships and battle cruisers where you need that penetration, you are done anyway. You don't have the firepower to be able to deal with them. The only thing you can hope for is to use these torpedoes effectively. And guess what? When it comes to these types of torpedoes and getting them off, yeah, you can get 16 of them off. It'll take you ages and you'll be able to, you know, maybe get some torpedo kills or you can just run the Shimakaze and do that and without having to do this kind of jig where you have to go left, you have to go right. Instead, you can just fire all 16 one way or 15 one way, sorry, get a reload and then go again, uh, which is what a lot of people do in the Shimakaze. So these vehicles have been awful to play. Like, I'd, I don't know how else to put it. They are in a really rough place and don't make any sense of their BRs. Whereas the Italians actually are pretty good um, at 5.3 and also at 5.0. And at 5.7, it's where they struggle because of the up-tearing. The main thing that I look at when it comes to the Italians, when it comes to the Japanese, when it comes to the British, the three separate nations I've been playing during this event... One of the major things that obviously comes out is these cruisers need a bit of BR decompression. It's all well and good trying to save the higher echelons to make it so, you know, you have, uh, you, you know, you have competitive battleships versus battleships and battle cruisers versus battle cruisers. But this area makes absolutely no sense in terms of the vehicles being at the same BR and how they all work together. It's crazy to me. Uh, that something like the York, for example, is at the same BR as the London and also the Southampton. It's crazy to me that any of these vehicles are at the same BR as the London uh, or the Southampton. And then also Italy, the fact that these are lower BR <laughs> than them, even though they can put out so much damage. And also at the same time, have very good secondary setups, which is something the Japanese just don't have, by the way. Uh, you have these 25s and 13.2s, which are useless, and then two 120mm per side. It's absolutely awful 
that that is the case. One thing I forgot to mention while talking about these things is the Miyoko, which is even more of a hilarious thing. The Miyoko, uh, which is obviously part of the Miyoko class, uh, is ridiculous compared to the other 5.7s for Japan, and it's a straight pay-to-win vehicle. It is a 6.0 vehicle for some reason at 5.7. It has five 203 millimeters, so it has two more whole dual turrets than any of the other 5.7s for Japan. It has a ton of 5-inch uh, guns, uh, four dual sets, so double the secondary armament as well, and also a bunch of the 25mm on top of it. It also has a bunch of the Type 93 torpedoes too, in basically the same setup as the Aoba on the sides here. So, this vehicle, it also has more armor than it too. I have no idea how this is allowed to be a 5.7. This is a 6.0 vehicle, which is just sat at 5.7 because it's a premium. Compare the Miyoko and any of its stats to the Fur Attacker or the Aoba. It is ridiculous. If you compare it to the Megami, it's actually way more similar to the Megami than any of the others, and even the Suzuya, right? The Tone has the four 203mm dual turrets, and also has the four dual type inch guns, plus a bunch of secondaries. The Megami has the five 203s. This one basically has the same armament as the Miyoko, by the way, and also very similar armor in a few places. The Suzuya has less armament than the Miyoko, same as the Tone and the higher BR. This thing being a 5.7 is actually a disgrace. If there is absolutely no point in paying any of these vehicles, because the Miyoko is just straight better than all of them in every single way. It is insane that this thing is at 5.7. These vehicles are just in a really odd place, and it's no wonder when it comes to this naval area, people just play the meta stuff. Because there's so many of these vehicles that make absolutely no sense, and I have no idea why you would play them, unless you're a crazy person like me. As always though, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Tulio Ponticorvo, Brendan Quinn, Carrion Crow, Gus Irenicus, Pyman, Wartinder, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, Martinez, B. Young, Alan Hacker, Ozzy Panzer, Liam Shear, Opium Prime, Lafouche, Cam Arslan, Uncle Bean, and Derek R for supporting the channel.